Hi, I'm Ali Vasquez and I'm the co-founder of Catherall Audio. Today we're going to talk about MainStage, what it is, and how to get started. MainStage is an offshoot of Logic Pro that's geared towards live performance. It has a wide array of instruments and effects and can host third-party plugins. MainStage is an Avo exclusive program, so you'll need a Mac computer. You'll also want a MIDI controller to trigger sounds and a USB cable to connect the two. To output sounds, you can use a cable like this, with a 3.5 millimeter on one side and two quarter inch cables on the other. This will plug into your headphone jack. This will plug into your soundboard. For long term, you're gonna wanna use an audio interface, but this cable should work fine to start. Now that we know the bare minimum equipment needed, we can start looking at the program itself. I'm gonna use one of Catherall Audio's custom templates, which you can download for free with the link in the description below and follow along with the same exact concert file. So let's get started. Main stage has three modes. In layout mode, we're going to design our workspace and assign hardware. Edit mode is your main hub. This is where you're gonna create patches and customize your sounds. And finally, we have perform mode. This is just a cleaner view of your workspace. You don't necessarily have to perform out of this mode. And in fact, it's pretty common to use either this or edit mode during a performance. All right, so going back to layout mode, we're going to assign our keyboard. Do that by selecting your keyboard and you can go to MIDI port and select your keyboard device here or click your assign button, press some keys on your board and then deselect that. I'm also going to assign these buttons that I have here in the upper right corner labeled Panic and Patch Advance. We'll talk about them a little later, but I want to assign them in layout mode right now. I'm going to select my Panic button, come back over to Assign, keep that on, and press a button that I have here on my keyboard. With it, the Assign button still selected, I'm going to press the upper arrow patch advance button and press a button on my keyboard. And finally, I'm going to select the down arrow on the patch advance button and press a different button on my keyboard. Now that I've assigned all of those, I wanna make sure I deselect the assign button. You can drag and drop any other buttons or controls that you want in this lower panel labeled screen control palettes. For a deeper look at connecting your hardware, you can check out a previous video right here. All right, so next we're gonna move into edit mode. The first thing I'm gonna do here is add a patch. You can do that on this left panel labeled patch list just by pressing this plus sign. It's that easy. And next we'll want to add our channel strips. So moving to the right panel labeled channel strips, I'm also gonna press this plus sign on this side. This window will pop up right here, and you'll see that there's four different types of channels. We're gonna stick with software instruments for this video because that's most likely what you want to use. So make sure that software instrument is still selected. And under details, you'll want to make sure that your input is the keyboard that you want to use. The output is where your audio is being sent to. So if you're using a headphone jack, you'll want to make sure that that's output one, two, and then just hit create. Okay, so now let's find the sounds that we wanna use. We'll do that by highlighting the channel. And in this bottom panel, we have our channel strip library that is organized into different folders. You can search through these folders to find the sound that you want, or if there's a specific sound that you're looking for, you can choose this gear at the upper right corner of the panel and click find it in library. Or you can just use the shortcut command F. If you want some ideas about what sounds to use, check out our top 10 video for our favorite sounds. But first, I'm gonna start with piano. If you type in a word and that's not the specific one you were looking for, you can come back to that gear at the upper right corner of the panel and click find next in library or use the shortcut command G. But I'm gonna stick with grand piano. Now that I've got that channel strip set up, I'm going to add another one. Coming over to the plus sign and going through the same process. For this one, I'm going to hit Command F, delete that, and search for strings. 
cinema strings isn't exactly what I'm looking for, so I'm gonna hit Command G and choose full strings. All right, now that we found the right sounds, let's talk about layers and splits. So a layer is when two channel strips are placed on top of a single note. Splits are where you divide up the channel strips onto different areas of the keyboard. And MainStage makes it really easy to manage your layers and splits. So we're gonna come back over here to the bottom panel and choose the Layer Editor tab. So there's multiple various ways that you can set your layers and splits. One way is to move your cursor to either edge of the layer. You'll see that the cursor changes into this straight line with an arrow attached to it. You can click and drag to where you want that layer to be set. Different way to do that is to move over to where it says high key and low key. And you can use the arrows on either side to change where you want the highest key to be set and where you want the lowest key to be set. You can accomplish the same thing by moving your cursor to the center where you'll notice it changes into an up and down arrow. You can select the center and then move your mouse up and down in a vertical motion and your layer will move with you. Or you can double click the center and type in where you'd want your high or low key to be placed. Finally, you can set your high or low key by using this learn button. So you'll select learn, press the button that you want to use and it'll set over that key. Make sure you have the correct channel that you want to set highlighted and then you can do the same thing on the other side. Now that this patch is set up the way that we want, we're gonna create another patch with a different sound. So again, we'll come over to this left panel and click the plus sign. Create a new channel. And for this one, I'm gonna search for choir. And I'm gonna select the church choir. If you wanted to move through the patches, you can simply click back and forth. An easier way is to just assign it to buttons on your keyboard. But first, let's talk about the concert hierarchy. So in main stage, the lowest level of the hierarchy is going to be your channel strips. A collection of those channel strips make up a single patch. You can choose to put a collection of patches into a set and at the highest level of the hierarchy is the concert level. That affects everything globally. So what does that mean? Well, if you only assign something at a patch level, then that will only affect that patch. If you assign something at a concert level, that will affect all of the sets and patches underneath it. So that's where we're gonna assign these buttons, at our concert level. So to do that, we're gonna come over to our patch list and make sure that our concert is highlighted. Next, we're gonna come over to our patch advanced on our workspace area, and I'm going to click the upper arrow first. Select that. And then down here at the bottom panel, going to go over to where it says unmapped, I'm going to select the actions folder. And for this button, we're going to have it go to our previous patch. I'm going to do the same thing with this down arrow button. Select it, go to unmapped, the actions folder. And for this one, we're going to select next patch. Finally, I'm going to assign the panic button. So your panic button will trigger a MIDI reset, which will immediately stop any sounds that are currently playing. To assign it, we're going to select the button, come down to our unmapped tab, go to our actions folder, and we're gonna scroll down to panic. Once we've assigned everything, we're gonna test it out using the buttons we assigned in layout mode. Down button to move to our next patch, up button to move to our previous patch. The patch advance buttons will move in a cycle. So once you get to the bottom of a patch list, it'll cycle back up to the very top of the list. And if I hold down a chord and press the panic button, it'll stop the sound 
even though I'm still holding down the keys. Okay, that will complete this video on the basics of main stage. There are so many more parts that we can and will dive into in future videos. So if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed and turn on your notifications so you can stick with us on our journey through main stage. If this video was helpful and you like what we're doing, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And if you have anything that you want us to cover in future videos, leave a comment down below and we'll see you in the next one.